and welcome. This is Stories from Africa with Msingi Africa Television. I'm your host, Choma Phillips. Yesterday, we went to the organic farm that we had promised you we were going to visit. And thank goodness, because he had not harvested the maize yet. So we were able to share with you what the land looks like in contrast to the other parts of the land adjoining it or next to it. And even though uh, I would have loved for you to have seen it before the rains came in, because the rain, rain, Rain has power. Rain has really transformed the environment around us. You can still tell, you know, the gaps and stuff in between the two parcels of land, but it would be much more dramatic. But anyway, it's a real oasis and so beautiful. So listen to this conversation and let's catch up afterwards. So please um, tell, tell our viewers your name. Yes, my name is Emmanuel Wafura Barasa. I, I, I am a technical work of building and construction. Oh, wow. But now, I feel angry when I come from the work. There is no food at, at home. In the house, people are angry and there is a farm there yeah. and there is little water there. Yes. So I decided with the little I have, the seeds, I start preparing the farm and then I put there small seeds mm -hmm. and about one to three weeks have been already terminated uh -huh. and I start controlling weeds the one that which can be eatable I leave those that one and one that can be eaten like veggies I just preserve them and they come so very attractive because many crops are on this soil yes uh, birds have been protein many seeds when they come eating here around the compound around the uh, where I throw this um, waste of food, yeah. they throw their waste yeah. and they have also swallowed the seeds okay. of many different fruits, veggies. Yes. So when you plant, a, as you see, there are many of them that come in, uh, many veggies that were in the early of the beginning of the earth. Yeah. Others from the forest, so which we need them to be in our place. Yes. And we cannot find them when you walk. It's true. Uh, but when you use the organic, you will also preserve all those uh, seeds that have been sprouted. Wow. Um, but when you use these chemicals, some will die yes. because they are natural. Yeah. Uh, they fear those chemicals and they go dying. Yeah. But when you leave them natural like that, you give them water, it just, you see them, something just coming up, like those quabas. Yes. It's just feeling okay. Wow. <laughs> no, it's very beautiful here. Yes. I mean, like, it's even cooler yes. than where we were on the road. Yeah. And it's very beautiful. You can feel the wind more yeah. than other places. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Mm, this is around now two years. Two years. Yeah. So when you started, the land was just like the other land it, that you It was seen? like the other one, mm -hmm. like the animal park like that. Yeah. And then I started slowly by slowly by myself. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. And then the friend saying, what are you trying to see? You just keep the animals. I say, no, I will not eat the animal in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> after, after all, I will need something on the sufuria yes. to put something small. Yeah. Children will need, friends will need, yeah. animals will need. So I started cultivating slowly, slowly to plot everything in the soil yeah. to come up. Yeah. So I, I start selecting which one will remain mm. and which one will be brought out uh -huh. to leave the other ones to come. Yeah. Mm. So why do you like organic farming? Because this organic farm, I like it because you will find many crops which was being created by God. Mm. We will not die, but it will survive without chemical. Uh -huh. Other crops does not want the chemical. We when you use the chemical, it will make other crops to die. Mm. But only water with the material inside the soil, mm -hmm. it will make all the crops to be available. Yeah. So as you can select yourself, yes. this one, yeah. you can leave it and to make it very strong for the future. No, it's true. Yes. And how did you deal with the issue of uh, lack of water? Mm, the lack of, of water this time, I am lucky because I have a small poor hole. Mm -hmm. And the problem is the electricity because it's now too expensive for I to generate the 
capital of mm. pumping water mm. before I start. We must have something small to start. Mm. Mm. But I thank God someone gave me some sm something small and then I start pumping the water mm. for the dry time. Yes. And then I managed to have this all this in dry season. Wow. Everywhere is dry. Yes. But when you come in this place, you feel like you are in in heaven. It's true. <laughs> yes. It's a paradise. Yeah. Because everywhere else, you know, nobody has done this work. Yes. But when we're here, yeah. what I'm seeing is it is possible. Mm. You, you have chickens, then you have plants, yeah. you have local vegetables, yes. then you have, you know, the maize, yeah. and then you have other herbs yes. that are for like medicine. Yeah, they are here. For cancer, they, yeah. when you look this flower, yeah. it leaves, it treats cancer. And when you see there are something that there are there like fetches, but they treat high blood pressure. Yes. And the others controls the veins in your body. The blood flows free frequency. And Just you see, you feel it better, you feel strong. Yeah. Like you see, the, my old man, he was only going somewhere, but because of this, yes. it makes him come strong, come yes. to life again. Yes, you told us that he was very unwell. And then he came here? Yes. Uh -huh. Around, he was sick around eight months, lying down. Mm -hmm. But when he came here, I just introduced him on this herbal, herbal and veggies yeah. combined. Yes. The water, I remove from that leaves mm. after cooking, I give him to drink, mm. like one cup every evening. Wow. And the remaining leaves, I make it, I put a uh, natural oil mm -hmm. from animal yeah. like he ships yeah and i prepare for him as food as veggies with the garlic wow yeah <laughs> there's something i learned from you yes you said that we cook vegetables for too short a time yes and you know all of these people they say the vegetable you have to eat it while you can still hear yes but you're saying that yeah. vegetables should be cooked longer yes please tell us more. because nowadays uh, we have many chemicals on the soil, many chemicals on the pollution air, mm. and all of them fall on these veggies, these mm. leaves, mm. because it makes its food from where? Photosynthesis. Yes. So all those are mixed up with chemicals. Yes. So it makes to, to boil in too long as well as we can kill those to reduce those bacteria mm. to come down. Yeah. Others will die in some degrees, like 40. At a 60, at a needs to up to 90. Wow. So when it is below 90, you will see some others will not die. Yeah. And then it is better to increase. Eh. So as when you increase it, you will make that around 90% of the disease bacteria have been gone, which can come to your body and bring some diseases, like heart pain, like I feeling unwell, like vomiting now and then. Yeah. When you go in the vehicle driving, you yeah. hear the, some smell of Perfumes, you start vomiting, yeah. it starts the problem. Uh, I didn't know these things. We must cook very well, as like the meat. We yeah. must cook, cook very well. Wow. So as you make sure that every those bacteria, every those medicine that have been used on that animal mm. to be totally removed, around 90% or 80%. So it's as serious. it can keep you to be in good position. <laughs> I'm very disturbed. Yes, don't disturb so because the, those things. Yeah. I did not go to school, but I uh, I found them with my grandfather, mm. who died around 1971. Mm -hmm. I used to stay with him, mm. and he told me that when you want these veggies to be well, when you eat, mm. your digestion takes it fast. Mm. It must to be well prepared, mm. come to a level that when it goes in your stomach. The digestion starts at first. Wow. But when it is well not cooked, your digestion to take and those chemicals start coming back to your body. Give your heart pan yeah. all the time you feel here is burning. Yes. Because it was not ready to be digested. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. And we don't have any heavy machine in yeah. our body. Yeah. So it's better to make that something to be quick, to be dissolved in our body. Yeah. That is what I say, we must cook in long time to, pre to re reduce the bacteria and to make it 
di the body digest it to be very easy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That is how I learn from those old men yes. who are living many years ago. But I still carrying those memories. Yes. Which I now started practicing them to my children. Yes. And to my grandchildren. And you can see the benefits. Yes. Wow. And when they go to school they start advancing those my knowledge that which I was with it. That's wonderful. Yeah. From this organic farming. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you use manure? I use manure. Okay. This is the waste of animal mm. and others from these leaves. Mm. Others from the the dried woods, mm -hmm. they come also in organic. Yeah. Yeah. All the waste food, they come in organic. organic. Very nice. And you, you don't have so expensive farming. Mm. The farm just come very cheap to manage. It's true. Because you are not going in the chemical way. Yeah. You just put this, the remaining of these trees, leaves mm -hmm. together. Oh, organic chicken. And it comes from organic manure. What about uh, chicken? Is it possible to have organic chicken? Yes, you have those waste of chicken. Mm -hmm. When you put them in the soil, it helps the soil to remain very strong mm -hmm. and moisturing the soil for too long. Okay. Even when the rain is not there, yes. it will take around one month when the moisturing is still on the soil. Serious? Yes, one month. And then you use drip irrigation? Yes, after that, slowly, slowly. Top water, slowly, slowly. So a farm like this uses how much water, like maybe in a day? When mm, you water? In a day, it is 1.5 hectare. Uh -huh. I use that 5,000 litres. 5,000 litres? Yes, in one 5 day. cubic. Wow. 5 cubic per day. Okay. Yeah, and sustain all these, these plants. It's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And those fans, when you see Kayava, where? Yes. Everything? Yes. Depends on that. Amazing. Yeah. So it's possible. So why why people, you know, crying there's drought in Kenya, there's no food, what are we going to do and crying like this? Ah, we have a lot of they are just they not want to work at this manual, they want white jobs. Okay. And there's no office today. <laughs> so true. where will you you can you just build your office yes. in your hands. Yes. And you look what can I do? Even around where you are. Yes. You can do something even when you have a small small land or even you have rented somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can pre prepare these bags of cement mm -hmm. and you plant some veggies inside there. Yes. Using this organic. Yes. There is no man who will say you don't have food, True. you grow veggies, yes. onions, something like that. These fruits, passion fruits, yes. you recall like flowers and such bearing fruits. Yes. And you have plenty of food. Like this one acre, um, it is going to fit around many people. Mm. Many families will get around 50 families. Wow. It depends on this. From this? Yes. yes. So plus, it's possible. Plus ourselves. Yes, it is possible. Because I see, you know, the the neighbors, the land is empty. Yes. But they were crying, oh, there's no, there's no rain. But you, you there was no you, rain here also. Yeah. But when you see the environment on this compound, it's like, it's raining every day. Yeah. Why? Because I plan it. How to use those small water yeah. and that organic and it sustains the soil and soil maintains that crops. Beautiful. Yeah, that is how I am thinking the future can be like this one mm. and there will not be there waste of food mm. or there will be no people who are crying there is no food in this country. True. Yeah. I agree. There is a big land, but it's not you being used. Mm. Like when you see from here up to Masai Lodge to Rongai, yeah. big land, but few people have planned it. True. Like 10 or 20. No, they want to build houses. And the millions yeah. want to eat. Yes. Where do they get food? I don't know. Everyone. Everyone wants to build a house. They don't want to grow the food. Yeah, why? I don't it, know. Will you sleep in a house without food? <laughs> it's better to bring your <laughs> organic. <laughs> there is no a lot of capital needed. Just this, this trip line, I find it to my friend of mine, mm. it was being used and it dropped away. Yeah. And I uh, asked him, he gave me this, and then I say, let me go and prepare it. Yeah. And I have prepared some small, small, it's now bringing me some foods on the table. That's wonderful. Mm. You also have chickens? Yes, I have chickens. They are organic? Yeah, they are organic. So how do you feed them? What do you do? I feed them from the... This maize, when they come up, mm -hmm. I just start 
removing the small maize, mm -hmm. just feed them. Okay. And the small veggies, yeah. I cut for them small pieces and then I feed them. Wow. Yeah. They're and enjoying the small, life. Eh? And the small remaining on foods. Yeah. Yes, I just feed off them. They're just enjoying themselves here. And everything comes like yes. they're rotating yes. from the farm to man to chicken and then back to the farm. Yeah. yeah. I celebrate that is you. Okay. That is okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. God created us to continue creating our environment. Yes. That is he gave us the opportunity. Yes. When we just be lazy, God will now figure and give you the minds that you are angry. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not gone angry. Everything is going well here. I have four children in secondary school. Wow. And they are all getting on. Paid from this place. Wow. Yeah. And even taking care of this old man. Wow. Yeah. Health and strength and are strength available from this soil. From this soil. It's Treatment, beautiful. everything are from this soil. Very so exciting. organic is very the best yes. way we can go. Amazing. And we shall live longer yes. without having many sickness. Yes. Because when we go the other way, Sicknesses are many because of mm. the chemical we mm. use. Mm. We don't know where they are made because they are of business. Mm. Yeah. And yet as we use organic, it will be better. Amazing. Yes. Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, we We're come. so grateful. We'll yes. try and find another day we can come and talk some more. Yes, welcome. But we really thank you and thank you for your efforts. Let this message go to the whole world. Yes. And they come very practice of this yes and we shall be very happy okay and the court will replace us yes and also be placed yes yeah Amen. Welcome. thank you so much <laughs> welcome so thank you for watching i hope that you found useful things in that conversation we spoke to emmanuel afterwards and he said that he's happy to teach anybody who needs to know what tools um, you would require in order to begin your own organic farm what you need to sustain it, how to go about it, and so on and so forth. He's actually taught a lot of people how to go about it, and so not a strange thing for him. So if you'd like to get in touch with him or, you know, visit his farm or spend some time with him, please get in touch with us. Um, also, let us know what you thought about what he shared in the comments below the video as well. There's something really important that he said. I don't know if you caught it, but I really need to emphasize it again because it ties back to what we had said about AI and it's not even something that we spoke to him about. He said that there is no more work, which basically, you know, all these white collar jobs and everything that people are pursuing um, after going to school, working hard, getting a job and so on and so forth, those things are out the window. And when you connect it to what's deliberately being put into place, with AI and all sorts of other measures and um, look at how the world is being structured now such that um, possibilities for employment are shrinking faster and faster by the day. Really and truly the best work that you can find yourself employed in is building up for yourself on your little piece of land something that is tangible, something that is real, something beautiful, safe and clean. And it's something that we really like you to consider. A lot of people are getting themselves roped into different things by politicians the world over. Um, and yet, back home, they have a little piece of land where they can eke out a living safely and responsibly without being dragged back and forth between the agendas of people who are actually on the same side at the end of the day, which is sad and ironic, but it is what it is. Think about it and think about people who you know who might actually have spaces and places they could share with you, sell to you, or you could share with them so that they can get themselves gainfully employed and doing things that can transform their communities and societies. That's something to consider. So thank you for taking the time out uh, to spend time with us today. We're continuing to look for interesting content that can help you build positively and sustainably into the future. Um, things that will help you counter the strategies of the globalists and help you stay ahead of the game that they're trying to play on us. So if you liked it, please like the video, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, you know, where that's relevant. Um, let's talk in the comments section below the video. We'd love to hear from you and tell a friend, have these conversations with your friends and your family and see what it is that you can do as a people, as a grouping, or even alone if people aren't interested, 
to make sure that you're able to take the steps necessary to get yourself into position where you're secure against global shocks like they're trying to create in all the different systems out there. Um, if you like our work and you'd like to support us, uh, please visit our Mchanga crowdfunding page. The link is on the video and in the description section of this video and in our profile, if this is TikTok. Um, just share what you can. For us, we keep saying, you know, share what you can. Um, a dollar, a euro, a pound, British pound. Um, can 100 Kenya shillings or equivalent in your local currency. The Mchanga platform allows for PayPal, uh, Visa, uh, M-Pesa for Safaricom, Airtel Money, the various options available for you to use. You don't just have to share a dollar, you can share more if you have it available. Every bit that you give frees us up to be able to look into what's going on around the world and to be able to generate the content that you need to overcome and overtake what it is that they're trying to put on our heads. And we really need to stay ahead of this game and not get caught up and swallowed in it like many are. So thanks again for your time and have a great, amazing day, night, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. All the best and thanks again. God bless.